estamos. Pues nosotros somos el río. Vamos a ofrecer canto uh, para, para lo que queda aquí en esta comunidad, que nos siguen queriendo quitar. Personas en la calle sin hogar, 
aquí lo tenemos a, a, a la par de nosotros donde estamos ahorita plantados a, la gente viviendo en la calle y, y tenemos hogares vacíos entonces aquí estamos y parte de, de ese proceso del aburguesamiento o gentrification es también tratando de, de borrar nuestra uh, memoria cultural, ¿verdad? nuestra experiencia uh, como artistas que, que aportamos a la comunidad eh, con estos, uh, estos murales preciosos que, que nos ayuda a conectarnos ¿verdad? con nuestro, nuestro pasado, nuestro presente y futuro. Entonces aquí estamos para asegurar que, que sepan que aquí estamos y que estamos aquí para proteger nuestras, las paredes con nuestra arte, con la, la, nuestra identidad. Entonces... Esta es uh, dedicada al viento.
muchísimas gracias a Brenda. Nos topamos a, en la tienda y dice, hey, vamos a tener este evento. Hey, ¿Podemos tocar? Con esta canción vamos a cerrar. Muchísimas gracias a todos y todas por estar aquí presente, apoyando a nuestro, nuestro labor creativo, que es la música, el canto, la danza, el mural. Entonces aquí estamos presentes para pa todo eso y, y muchísimas gracias. Ha sido un placer estar con todos y todas ustedes.
thank you so much for starting the movement with students who dedicated their time to write letters from CalArts, to write letters to Mr. Warren Skip Kessler, who's been speaking for Big Crossing LLC since they won't show their face. We don't know who these people are who bought this building for $5.8 million. We, all we know is that this mural is threatened and they have been Some notices and, and advisories as far as like the erasure of this mural, and they haven't been consistent. And that's what we have to notice and we have to realize that just because someone says, oh, and sends an email that's confidential and says, oh, our plans are not to erase this mural. Well, if it's, if, it, if, it's, if it's confidential, then that's not official, is it? If it's confidential, that means is it? We want transparency and we want due process. We don't want a, oh, we might not release this mural. No, we want an official letter being shared with all of the community. So don't believe the, the, don't, don't believe the, the rumors. Don't believe the rumors that they don't plan to erase it. And that's why we're here today despite of those rumors, because we want this world to stay here and be protected. Now, I also want to thank Oxy Arts, who has been very, very, very helpful in this, in this protection. And there are allies, and they continue to host very important events on indigenous consciousness and the importance of these murals. I also want to talk about the legalities the VARA Act, which is a federal law, the Visual Artist Rights Act, says that you have to notify each and every uh, uh, artist here, every artist who did this mural. So not just one artist needs to be verified or notified. All artists need to be notified legally, legally, and they need to be notified in an official, transparent letter, not an email that says that it's confidential. Mr. Lawrence Skip Kessler's wife is Joan Kessler, and Joan Kessler speaks of an art in an article that cultural context must be honored. Well, guess what? We're gonna write more letters to Joan Kessler. Maybe she can convince Warren Skip's um, her husband, Warren Skip. That erasing this mural is going to be very hurtful to our community, right? We are, we are already wounded with all the whitewashing, that, as you saw in the Guardian article today, that came out today. We're wounded. The collective trauma grows, and it grows deeper every day with this erasure, as it did 500 years ago. So join me today in protecting this mural. Help me write letters. Help me convince this, this big classy LLC that when he erases this mural to put windows right here, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable because we are intact. We are artists. We want our mural intact as well as all the other murals. We, we have Bola Lopez, who's our hero, for restoring the Southwest a museum mural that Daniel Cervantes created and was whitewashed in 2014. Bola, we thank you! Where are you, Bola? Bola! Bola, we love you! Thank you so much! I just want to uh, point out that that mural that Bola uh, Lopez res restored was basically told to me that that was an impossible feat. Not only is she badass for restoring it, but she's a mohead. She's the only one who said, you know what, I'm going to take up this impossible feat, and I'm going to restore it. Thank you, Bella. Muchas gracias. Now, just one more thing. This wall here is called the Nochitlan, the wall that speaks, and it's symbolically important. Why? What does it talk about? It talks about the beginning, birth, and it leads up to death, and it leads up to our issues with modernization. The issues of modernization and colonialism 
that are killing our communities. Killing our communities. Mm. What makes a community special, like Highland Park? What makes this community in Highland Park so special? Is our community. Our unity. Our people. The love that we have for our family that. And you know what? Gentrification is destroying that. So you see those gentrification, those gentrified businesses that we grow up harder? They don't serve us. They don't serve us. You know, they look down at us and they say, oh, we don't want your kind here. So anyone who supports those gentrified businesses is supporting the erasure of this mural. <laughs> It's a reminder that we have to connect with this consciousness, this consciousness of village consciousness, comunidad, el ch la chuntariada, everything that is beautiful about this culture. This is what it represents, a consciousness that is good, that doesn't erase, that doesn't hurt, that doesn't violate. It's a reminder where our hearts must be. Un corazón endiosado. Okay, so please help me in joining our healers and our shamans and our elders to open this invocation that is so important, the ancestral invocation. In the material world, in the attachments of the material are nothing. Because when you die, you don't take them with you. You don't take that money, Mr. Kessler, Mr. Thick Crossing LLC. You don't take all that rich with you. Guess what? You go into the afterlife. And you know what? That's something that those are the comments that you have to pay for. So please help me in invoc invoking these wonderful ancestors, all of our ancestors, no matter where you come from. Help us to invoke your ancestors to help protect this mural. Yes, Oli, can please start the invocation for God. So this is a, I'm going to read just a brief paragraph uh, written by a uh, uh, spirit hitting this abuela uh, Matasin, International Council of First Nations from Centro Internacional de Primeras Naciones. This, this letter was written by him among, among other indigenous leaders, elders, uh, chiefs from different uh, parts of the globe. So we're asking Pope Francis to return some of our codices, some of our, 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 our codices that are safely kept in, inside the Vatican. So this is a request, but I'm gonna write, I'm gonna talk about just briefly what, you, what this is referencing, the Calendario Azteca. There's a lot more, it's a lot deeper than that, but I just wanna write uh, uh, read a, a brief paragraph about it. The Aztec calendar is the most concrete proof that our ancestral peoples had meetings, agreements, congruences, and national and international relations, relations that led them to peaceful and harmonious coexistence with themselves, with others who surrounded them, with nature. This is just a drop in the vast ocean of traditional knowledge, a wealth of information which guides us through life that we must recover. Sir, as you know, the implication of the loss of this knowledge to the holders and their posterity and for the wider world. And now we're asking for six, six demands. We further call on His Holiness to, to see the following. To join the indigenous people in all the First Nations of the world to make 19, 2018 the return of the sacred as cultural inheritance as a human right. To recognize the 12th of March as a new year in the Aztec calendar. To take notice, holy, and see presently uh, in violation of the United Nations Declaration of the Human Rights, the Indigenous Peoples of 2007, according to Article 43. To enshrine the rights that constitute the minimal standards for the survival, dignity, and well being of the Indigenous people of the world. Article number 4. The advice of art, which pray, states, provide, and repair which may include restitution with respect to cultural, intellectual, religious, and spiritual property taken without their free, prior, and informed consent. Article number five. 
In hand communication between the Vatican Apostolic Library and the Museum of Anthropology and History of Mexico City to prepare the process of reparation of the college board here. Number six, we signed the Papal Bull into detail issued by the Pope Alexander VI on May 4th, 1493 to end the war. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ali. Okay, please um, silence before the invocation.
And uh, it is an honor to be here. Thank you, Frida, and all the audiences too, my friends Andy and Eagle. Here for unity and peace. And uh, enjoy the enjoy the beer, man. It's, it's, it's been history. And we are here to make more history. Thank you. Home the
Okay, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Eric, and this wonderful danzantes. Muchas gracias por venir. Muchas gracias por su apoyo. Vamos a seguir luchando. We're gonna keep writing letters. We're gonna keep doing events. So please stay tuned. And here are some words from my homegirl, Melly. Thank you, Melly, from the Rio Band. Thank you, everybody. So thank you once again. My name is Melissa. I'm uh, born and raised here in Highland Park. It feels really good to be right here, right now. I see a lot of familiar uh, faces in the struggle to fight against displacement, to fight, to remain, to remain in, in the, the community that we've built. We've created these murals, we've created the music, we've created the culture that people so, so strongly want to come and participate, but in the process of participating, it gets erased. Other, other practices get imposed on us. Other businesses get imposed on us. Other spaces that are no longer catered to us or to, to our mothers, to our grandmas, to our tias. So I, I just want to close in honoring all the people who, who grew up here and who are not here anymore because they got ridiculous rent increases, they got eviction, sick 30 day notices that they have to go. And some of those people were protected, but they didn't know. So it's, it's just beautiful to be here with all of you. And, and in the struggle, unfortunately, we have to continue struggling, right? It's not, it's not normal, it's not natural for us to be struggling. So I just wanna thank all of you for being here. I wanna thank uh, the Earth, too, for, for allowing us to be on this Earth that we don't take care of, that we forget about, that we harm. So just a reminder, a reminder to, to to protect and defend the earth, defend your communities, defend each other, because the system is not designed to serve the people. It was never designed to serve the people. The only true system that we should be living and honoring is that of Mother Earth. So I just, once again, thank you so much for being here. It was an honor to play as a leader and offer uh, canto. Canto to all of you, to the, to the, the energy of the mural. Thank you once again. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much.